McLaren's Track Focus P1 Super Duper car, GM recalling Camaros. And the upcoming Mercedes AMG GT engine is confirmed, and Tesla says, hey, you wanna know how we do our stuff? We'll tell you. Plus, it's Monday, so we have Commenter of the Week. Isn't that right, AK? Oh, I'm ready. Oh, yeah. What's up, everybody? I'm Derek D. You're watching Fast Lane Daily, and uh, hope all you dads out there had a great Father's Day. Right, AK? I did, Derek D. Good to hear. Do you, you, uh, you get any good gifts? No, Derek D. Oh. Hey, you didn't see the Guess the Kia Sorento special we did that went up on Saturday? Then, whoa, you are doing yourself a disservice. So go ahead and click the link in the description and watch it after you watch this, of course. That's what I'm saying. Hey, some big news and positive news today is that F1 legend Michael Schumacher has woken up from his coma and left the hospital in France that he was in. It's very good news. For a while there, things weren't looking too good, but... It'll definitely be a very long recovery period, but we wish him the best, and that's pretty awesome. He's, I don't know, he didn't walk out of there, but that's awesome. he's not in the hospital anymore. He's out of the coma. That's about all we know. It's unbelievable. Yeah. You know, Tesla's pretty cool, I guess, besides having a billionaire genius founder. The cars are cool, the technology is advanced, and the sales are flowing. In fact, many automakers are struggling to keep up with the EV advancements. So, and you may have heard about this already, but Elon Musk has decided to level the playing field a bit and will reveal every single patent filed by Tesla to other automakers to use. Whoa. Whoa. That Elon Musk is a confident dude. The patents originally were to keep big automakers from copying the technology and undermining their business. But now Tesla realizes the big automakers are too far behind and they want to help out. Well, is it that nice of him? It's nice. Super nice. Looks like Elon there is just lathering the whole auto industry with some electric ketchup and mustard. The industry is going to be eating his stuffed musk pizza. I heard that. Patents. Yeah. <laughs> I must admit. All right. All right. Mercedes is giving you the power details for their upcoming AMG GT sports car. As we expected, a four liter twin turbo V8 will be used with just over 500 of these. <laughs> And 479 pound-feet of... Torque. That's right, Erica. The engine uses lightweight components to help the overall weight of the car stay low, 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 low. The same engine will be of service in the next version of the C63 AMGZ. The voiceover guy in this video is almost robotic-like, though. A quantum leap into the future of technology. A quantum leap into the future of technology. See what I mean? I mean, but very like professional. Right. But the whole time he's telling you about the engine. It's kind of mesmerizing, his voice. As if the recalls couldn't get any worse, GM has just issued a new recall for all Camaros in the US, basically. 464,000 in total to replace the key fobs, which stick out too far in the ignition, which can be hit by your knee or something, and turn the car off. GM is saying this proactive move is part of the new, safer, GM, you know, that's, that's, what, that's what they're saying. Cool, because this issue has already uh, led to about four minor injuries. So let's nip that right in the bud, GM. You know, GM gaining momentum. That makes right. sense. GM giving more, if you will. We mentioned McLaren was working on a track-focused version of the already nuts P1, and now we know some more info and have this teaser sketch. The P1 GTR, as it will be called, with will cost just under 2 million pounds, which is about 3.39 million US dollars. Yes, let me say that one more time. Uh, 2 million pounds, 3.39 million dollars. Okay, let that sink in. Also, the 3.8 liter twin turbo V8 and electric motor combination will yield 986 horsepower, and that's up from 909 in the normal P1, because 909, I mean, what are you gonna do with that, you know? Right. You need more, more power. Styling will be uh, more aggressive. The car will be wider. There will be even more downforce from active aerodynamics. Oh, and the only, I mean, sorry, and only current P1 owners will be able to buy the GTR version. Because, of course, 
you want a track only version of your already bonkers million dollar supercar that goes faster than pretty much everything on the, on the road already. Sorry. Disposable income. That must be nice. That's like super duper disposable income there. I mean, almost three and a half million dollars for a car. Come on. You guys know what time it is. Well, Father's Day was... Father's Day was yesterday. Fourth of July is in two That's weeks. coming up. Christmas is in... Oof, that's way off. Your birthday is August 22nd. <laughs> it is. Erica, do you know? Commenter of the week. Ooh. Ooh. Survey says... She's right. Yay. <laughs> Commenter of the week. Comment our show. Yeah, come you guys can't see this. AK has a paper towel roll that he's talking into right now. A poor man's vuvuzela. <laughs> yeah, from the. That's right. All right, it's Monday. And we have a long week ahead, so today we're going with a self-gratifying comment. You know, so we we can get rid of our case of the Mondays. Mm-hmm. It's from fan. I am the USB. Really, that's interesting. And he or she said, but probably a dude, let's be honest. What up, FLD? Just wanted to say that you guys are awesome. Making car news funny and interesting to watch. You are the only channel to have that great combination of news and humor. Thanks a lot for awesome episodes. And keep up the good work. It's my birthday today, by the way. So, yeah. P.S. Love that bam sound effect you guys make and that little kid loved. And that the little kid loved. And the bowels. Bowels. Just everything is good. See ya. (laughs) Nice. A lot of exclamation points in in that comment. Well, I am the USB. Thank you very much for that comment. We appreciate it very much. And uh, and that's what we do here. Make sure we give you the car news and all that stuff in a fun and funny way. So you aren't bored out of your mind. Like, watch. What if I did the show like this? As if the recalls couldn't get worse, GM has issued a new recall for all Camaros in the U.S., 464,000 in total, to replace the key fobs which stick out too far in the ignition, which can be hit by your knee or something, (laughs) and turn the car off, which would be bad. See, no one wants to watch that. That's just not, it's boring. It's not fun that way. It's not how we roll. Anyway, happy belated birthday to you, and this one's for you. (laughs) Nice. Just for you. I am the USB. All right? And of course, we appreciate all of you guys watching and all the positive comments. Thank you very much. Keep them coming. Case of the Mondays have been cured. No mas, case of the Mondays. All right? All right, Elon Musk is a very smart guy. Yeah. Case of the Musk days. That's where we're at. Elon Musk is a very smart guy. No denying that. So, our FLD question of the day is. Do you think it was a smart idea for Tesla to release their patents? Maybe the Musk man has something up his sleeve by doing this, something really cool we don't know about. You know, maybe he's, I don't know. We'll see. What do you guys think? Just hashtag FLDQ of the D and uh, let us know. And of course, you can send your own in to, uh, what's that email, AK? Tips at FastLaneDaily.com. Sure is. And that will wrap up this episode of Fast Lane Daily in a nice little Monday package. I'm Derek D. Thanks for watching. And if you're a Spurs fan, congrats. And if you're an LA Kings fan, well, good for you. Right? One of the Rangers. When does football begin, Derek D? Well, preseason starts in August. August. That's when that starts. And that'll do it. Max got a new mic. Skip on there. Sounds great. What do you think of the new Camaro? I don't know. You're asking the wrong guy. Oh, yeah? No, I like it. But Omar loves them, so. Omar, what's your thoughts on all these uh, recalls for the Camaro? If, if I owned a Camaro, I wouldn't even let GM take it from my driveway. I mean, you gotta really hit your knee on the key ignition. <laughs> Is it really that hard not to do that? Omar, I'll stand there. You're gonna have to pry this yeah. key fob out of my cold, dead fingers. Like, well, you're alive. Like 300, like Gerard Butler. Come and get it. Yeah, come and get it. Oh, we're living in the fast lane, baby. Tuning in the fast lane, daylight. Car magazines are old news, man. Ain't got the time for shopping at the newsstand. We're living in the fast lane, baby. Tuning in the fast lane, daylight. News for the always on the go folks. Merge to the left and pass all the slow pokes. 
You can view how you choose to FastLaneDaily.com or YouTube Hosted by my man Derek D Subscribe right now Don't just take it from me